Hello everyone, what's going on? Today I received um, a very interesting PC game I ordered from eBay um, one or two weeks ago and it's the PC version of um, Metal Gear Solid 2 which is called um, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Um, this is the um, retail uh, US version of Metal Gear Solid 2 and um, some of you may think, um, yeah, wasn't Metal Gear Solid 2 called um, Sons of Liberty and was only released on uh, the PlayStation 2? Well, yes, you see, back in uh, 2001, I believe, uh, when the PlayStation 2 version was released, this was one of the best PlayStation uh, 2 titles you, can, you could buy for the PlayStation 2. And later on, I think um, Konami, which makes, uh, which is the publisher for Metal Gear Solid series. Um, Konami later on uh, ported uh, the Substance version, which has, uh, I think, more VR version and additional missions as well as additional costumes and such. It's like a special edition. They ported it also over to the original Xbox. You know, the one where the first Halo was um, available on and so on. So this is actually available on the original PlayStation 2. Um, then there is also uh, the Xbox version and of course they also ported it to the PC uh, in the year 2003 uh, two or, or two years later after the PlayStation release and I think, I kind of think the uh, PC port uh, is based on the Xbox version from 2002 but uh, I'm not quite sure about it so anyway uh, as you can see, it's it's uh, it's kind of old uh, by by today's standards. And uh, if you may remember my uh, unboxing of the HD collection, which has the second game on it, it has the Metal Gear Solid. The HD collection was released in in the year 2011, and I did or 2012 here in in Europe uh, because it's, it's always released in Japan in Japan uh, like uh, in December or November and then it gets released in Europe and North America like one month later which is uh, 2012 I believe so anyway um, in my um, in my HD collection unboxing um, which I made I will post a link in, into the video description so you can check it out uh, the HD collection which was released in 2012 here in Europe uh, includes uh, I think the Substance version of Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Substance, which is also the special edition of Metal Gear Solid 3, a fantastic game, probably uh, one of my favorite Metal Gear games, if, if not my favorite. I never played the fourth one, but the third one is pretty solid. Never saw a PC release, but the first and the second one have a PC release. Then there is also this one here on the HD collection, uh, the third one as I mentioned and I think Peace Walker so if you don't have a PC or if you're not a PC gamer and play on uh, on the PlayStation Vita on the consoles like PlayStation 3 or play or Xbox 360 get the HD collection just skip the PC version because it's, the PC version is kinda twitchy you need to tweak it a little bit to to make it run on the PC uh, I can make it run on Windows 7 and Windows 8 but it will, you will need to, to tweak around a little bit and apply some patches, especially if you're using uh, GeForce drivers. Um, so anyway, um, I will just uh, unbox it for you and show you the contents of the PC version so you can see. So this is the box. Um, this is the American version. As you can see, it has the um, American rating right there. There is also the European version, which uh, comes in in a in a DVD case. But I kind of like this one, and I picked it up cheap. I think it was like uh, how much was it? I think like 13 pounds or 14 pounds. And for 14 pounds to have this in my collection, it's, it's actually a rare game. The, the there are the system requirements, guys. It has fairly. Um, uh, okay, well, for today's standards, it, you can run it on, on Windows 7 with on a powerful machine. But back then, this one had pretty insane system requirements. So it comes in this um, 
in these boxes you can see it's a little bit squashed but not not so much so it's it's okay so i think it's still in great shape and it's complete also comes when you open it up you can look inside i think it's interesting um there you can see about the game itself this is Solid Snake will play as him uh, in the first uh, mission and, and later on you will take over with Raiden. Uh, for people who don't know, this is where Raiden actually gets introduced. He isn't the, um, the, this uh, crazy cyborg uh, ninja uh, you know from Metal Gear 4 and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This is where he, he first is introduced in the series. and. Solid Snake, to much of my surprise, takes a backseat in this game. So uh, he takes a backseat, you will play as Raiden mainly. Uh, you play as Solid Snake in the Snake Tales and in the first tanker mission when you are on this oil tanker. But uh, to much of, of surprise, not, uh, not to mine only, uh, you will play as Raiden for the entire game later on. So let's have a look at the back and at the special features of the Substance version. Uh, well, Substance version, it has uh, 350 VR mission, I think, and 150 alternative missions, so a lot of VR missions. Also, you can play through five Snake Tales uh, involving Sonic Snake, so you can play at Sonic Snake's additional missions, which are harder, uh, unlock new playable characters, yeah, I know about that one contains the entire Metal Gear Solid Son of Liberty game, yeah, we know that one, and, and theater mode and boss survival mode are included. Uh, also, it has a very awesome soundtrack. This is uh, probably one of the best uh, soundtracks uh, you will ever get on a game. It, it's made by um, Harry Gregson Williams, which made also the, the um, soundtrack for blockbuster movies like, I don't know if you remember, Armageddon Wayne 1998. I think with Bruce Willis was that one Armageddon and of course The Rock. The Rock is also one awesome um, action movie with Nicolas Cage and uh, I believe uh, Sean Connery where, where on Alcatraz and anyway it had uh, fantastic soundtracks and the guy who made the soundtracks for Armageddon and The Rock also made the soundtrack for Metal Gear Solid 2 which is one hell of an awesome soundtrack and anyone who played this game knows how great the soundtrack is in the Metal Gear series overall, but in the second game especially, it's, it's pretty damn decent. Um, so let's open it up and show you the content of the box, uh, which I bought from eBay guys, so you can't uh, buy this new uh, nowadays, because this is old, it was released in 2003, and uh, you can bu still buy it on eBay, you can still find it on eBay, the PC version, but if you have a console, just go for the HD collection, honestly. So, uh, let's look inside. Well, what do you get? You get the manual, which is a pretty thick manual, I think. Well, and the DVD. The DVD uh, is nothing special. It's a fairly large DVD, I must say, because the installation of, of um, the installation discs require you to inst to make a 7.8 gigabyte install okay this is not much for today's standards but back on its day remember this was released in 2003 you needed a uh, a dvd drive to even it even says on the box uh, dvd rom drive required so back in its day in 2003 you all oh, you needed a very powerful pc with a good graphics card also you needed a dvd drive and you needed uh, um, 7.8 uh, space on your hard drive and for its time these were uh, pretty steep requirements so I believe this is actually burnt on a dual layer DVD because you can't fit 7.8 uh, data storage on a normal DVD which only has like 4.7 storage so this is burnt on a dual layer DVD, I'm pretty sure. I also checked it out, yeah, it, it, it looks like a dual layer DVD. And yeah, you will absolutely need a, a um, DVD drive. You can't run this one on a CD-ROM drive because it's a dual layer DVD, right? Uh, nothing special for today's standards, but back then it was an issue. Um, okay, I have to stop the video here, here in a few seconds. 
Okay guys, and I'm back with my unboxing for Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance for the PC. Um, I mentioned earlier that you will need a DVD drive and uh, 7.8 uh, gigabyte of hard disk uh, space to install this. Also, I believe uh, to fully run this at its, um, at its correct settings, you will need to install Windows XP and also with Service Pack 1. For some strange reason, um, it runs only great on Service Pack 1. When I upgraded to Service Pack 2, my Windows XP installation on my vintage PC, because I was running this on a vintage PC to see um, how it how it performs, um, I had some graphical issues with uh, with some videos. So it does run well on Windows 7. I will even show you. Um, I am running it right now on my laptop. I, will, I can show you. Um, uh, I died. Just, just, just press continue. And guys, you will also need a gamepad for this game. You will absolutely need a gamepad. Uh, well, there you can see this is running on Windows 7 right now, and I am, um, I'm using my uh, PlayStation 2 DualShock controller, which I hooked up via an, an uh, USB to PS2 adapter, and. Uh, let's show you. Let me show you. You can play this with with the. You absolutely need a uh, a controller for this game. Sorry, I need both of my hands free because, well, it runs fairly good. Even the first person mode, it runs fairly good on my laptop because my laptop is, is powerful enough for this game. It has a. a GPU um, NVIDIA 540M GPU with 2 GB uh, of RAM, um, 8 GB of, of memory, it runs fairly well and it runs fairly good. But the only problem with this game is, um, I can even show you, when you, when you see here when I'm in the Tanker mission and I look at the screen there, it's green. And this only happens in the... Um, on newer machines, if you are using, uh, uh, even if you are using Windows XP, see that green screen over there in the in-game. That's where the kernel is speaking. And weirdly enough, I tested it on my uh, Windows XP Vintage PC on Windows XP SP1 Service Pack 1, and I didn't have that green. Uh, what? Wait a second, I have to go in in first-person mode again. I didn't have that green screen right there. Here you see. It was playing just fine. So um, I believe you will need a um, hmm, you will need to run this on a vintage PC using Windows XP Service Pack One and a fairly good PC at that, and then you can run it perfectly. So anyway, uh, let's have a look at the manual itself. It's a pretty thick manual, um, and it explains a lot of backstory, how you install it. Um, and stuff like that. Also about the characters, as, as I mentioned, this is here is Raiden, you will play as him. This is Solid Snake. In the first mission you will play as Solid Snake in the tanker and later on you will switch to Raiden. It was kind of a twist back in its time and because people were expecting that uh, you you play only as Snake. And yeah, great manual actually. I'm, I'm pretty glad uh, the, the seller also included the manual the box and it's, it's in complete form and having this in my collection for 14 pounds it's, it's a real joy. I also have it on my Xbox 360 in the HD collection but uh, I kind of like the PC version. Also as you can see it is very, you can really run it on modern PCs and as a PC enthusiast I also installed it on my on my retro machine and it worked. It worked. It needs some patching because if you're, if you're running this on a um, on a GeForce uh, graphics card, you will need to patch it up. Um, not so many problems on ATI cards, but I don't use ATI Radeon cards. And also guys, here I um, strongly recommend you get yourself a, if you are going for the PC version of course, if not just go for the HD collection on the consoles, um, just grab a, a gamepad and as you can see this here is actually a authentic uh, PlayStation 2 DualShock 2 uh, gamepad which is hooked up on my PC uh, I can show you 
using a, a adapter you can see um, and this one goes all the way in my in my laptop see this is I can show you real quick this is a, my USB adapter it goes into USB here in my laptop and uh, when I unplug the adapter you can see this is this is where your PlayStation controller goes in see this is the adapter it's fairly cheap you get it for for like five pounds on eBay from China this is really good I have it for a long time now I think I bought it all the way back in 2008 and it works just fine and here you can see this is the original um, output of the of the PlayStation controller and of course you can plug your PlayStation controller with this output into your PC because it doesn't go in but if you're using uh, this adapter here you can plug it into the adapter see as I did before like that plug it in and then you take the USB and put it into your PC into your laptop in my case let's see I have to switch it like that and put it in and voila it works you see and uh, you can play with the um, PlayStation 2 uh, gamepad uh, the game see how well it works I will show you and the commands are very responsive you can even use uh, your analog stick you, you press this uh, button here and it will work see I can I can move Solid Snake around pretty well so you will absolutely need a a gamepad for this one because you can play with the you can play with the keyboard and mouse but this game was was just it was tailor-made for a gamepad and when they port it over they kind of screwed up the keyboard and mouse controls so you will absolutely need a, a gamepad to run this game um, Okay guys, and that's about it. This is what you get uh, for the PC when you're interested. Uh, check out some gameplay. Maybe I will post some gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 2 on, on my YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. And you can check it out. If you have any uh, questions regarding the PC version, if you have trouble uh, installing it on Windows 7, just send me a message or write a comment down. I will help you. I have a lot of experience with this version on the PC and I know how to run it perfectly um, on Windows 6P and on Windows 7, so there is no problem uh, I encountered. But uh, it's just me. I, I know a lot of people who have a uh, very hard time even running this on, on their PC, so if you're one of these people, uh, send me a message and I will gladly help you out. So this is it guys, you will get the dual, dual layer DVD, a pretty thick manual as you can see, with lots of infos. Uh, I didn't go much into the game itself, but I, I don't think I need to. This is a fantastic game and this is probably one of my all-time favorite games. Um, not so much, uh, maybe the, the third game, I love the third game so much, but that one was only released on, on consoles. Um, but the upcoming Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, Hideo Kojima, the, the master of Metal Gear, as you can see a Hideo Kojima game, uh, he announced that uh, Metal Gear Ground Zero and Metal Gear 5 will be available on Steam for the PC. So great news for you out there guys who love to play on their PC like I do. And I think I just died over there. <laughs> or the time ran out during the tanker mission. And yes guys, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a um, good overview on what you get for the PC if you are, if you are searching for this. Uh, look for it on eBay guys because it is an old game released in 2003. So if you really want to play it and you are a collector and love this game, check out eBay. It's still available on eBay. Uh, it's not that cheap. I, I, I mean it's not that expensive. I got it uh, fairly cheap from a guy from the United Kingdom who had the um, American version. And I wanted the American version because it looks better. I mean the, the packaging looks better and I just like to have this one in my collection. Um, I will also get, try to, to get the first game which also had a PC release, but uh, right now I'm very happy with this. And yes guys, get a, a gamepad, a decent gamepad, get the adapter or get the Xbox 360 gamepad and play this game. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Have a great time, bye bye.